Hello, I'm Greg, and this is Midnight Oil Software, where I talk about digital art and game development using Unity. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use parallax scrolling in your Unity 2D games. So let's jump over to Unity and see how I did this. I've got a little simple Unity project here with a few background layers. I have some background assets and a character. And by the way, I got these assets off of itch.io. They're free. I just did a search for free assets with the tag parallax or the tag 2D. And I found these background elements here that I thought looked kind of cool. So I downloaded them. And then I have a little character that I discovered on here. Uh, monsters creatures fantasy and I kind of like this little flying eye character here so I downloaded them and I pulled them in the unity now the only thing I had to do to those sprites to get them to work for parallax was I had to make it so these guys could be tileable so I changed their mesh type from tight to full rect and I changed their wrap mode to repeat and this allows you to go into the scene and grab a sprite and then stretch it like this and it just increases its tiling if you didn't have it set to full rect and you didn't have it set to repeat it would just stretch it wouldn't tile like that so that's really all i had to do for those sprites and i did it for all of the background images except for the trees because these are all individual sprites that i wanted to decorate the foreground with so enough backup from that let me explain how the parallax works i'll give you a quick demonstration as the character goes back and forth across the screen, the camera follows the character and is scrolling over these background and foreground elements. Now the ones in the distance seem to almost be following the character. They're moving very slowly, or so it would seem. And the ones a little bit closer seem to be moving a little bit faster than those. And then the ones in the foreground are scrolling by quite a bit faster. And this gives you the nice illusion of depth in an otherwise 2D image. Now, the way I achieved that is with a parallax script. And the parallax script has a single serialized field called lag amount. And I'll demonstrate this uh, script for you in a minute. But first, look at this lag amount. And I want you to consider what's happening here. As the camera follows the player, we want the background to also follow the camera, but at different speeds. So let's set all of these to one. And this is what it would look like with no parallax. This is gonna be a totally flat orthographic perspective. So you see how the background is scrolling by every element, every layer is scrolling by at the same speed. So it looks kind of flat. The only depth that we're getting are from these trees, which I positioned in front of and behind the player. So the ones in behind them look farther away and the ones in front of them look closer, but they're still scrolling by at the same speeds so that we could get a lot more depth out of that by adding a parallax effect. And so the way the lag works is if the camera is following the player at the same speed that the camera's moving, it will look like it's not moving at all. So for instance, if I set this down to lag zero, so there's no lag at all, it's gonna move at the same speed as a camera does, those clouds will not appear to move at all. So you see the clouds are not moving. That really makes them look far away in the distance. And then if we were to take this mid layer here and maybe give it a little bit more lag, like maybe between 10 and 20%. So they're following the camera, but not quite as fast as the clouds. So they look a little bit closer than the clouds, but still quite a bit farther away than the foreground. And in the same way, if we take these guys and maybe turn our lag down just a tad. So now they won't scroll by as fast as the trees in the foreground. So they look a little bit farther away than the ones in the foreground. So now we're starting to get some 3D depth here. That's parallax. So let's look at the script and see how it works. By the way, this little parallax amount variable that I added here that is just so I can see it in the inspector and see what it's doing. And so essentially I'm taking one, which is the 100% of the movement of the camera, and I'm subtracting this amount to give me how much parallax effect I want to apply to that layer. So it's the inverse of this, if you think of it that way. So let's go look at the script. It's a very simple script. There's not a whole lot of code in it. 
and I'm going to get rid of my little public variable here that I was using just to display this uh, in the inspector, just to make this simpler and not to confuse you. So we have our single serialized field, which is how much we want the camera to lag or how much we want the layer to lag behind the camera. We save off our camera's previous position and we cache the camera's transform. And then this is going to be the target position we're going to move the background layer to every frame. So when this script awakes, I save off the transform, I save off the camera's current position. And then every frame in late update, we're going to get the camera's movement. And all we're doing is we're subtracting the previous position from its current position. We're saving off its current position to the previous position. And we're returning this value. Now, if we moved some amount, if this is not zero, then we're gonna adjust our target position. We're gonna take the current position of our layer. So this is the transform that we cached from our layer. And we're going to take its X axis and we're going to offset it by how much the camera moved times the parallax amount. And so you remember that is basically one minus the lag amount. So 100% lag, we're not moving at all. 10% lag, we're gonna move 90% of the distance that the camera moved. So I know that sounds a little confusing, but it's pretty simple once you see it in action. And I'm only applying the parallax on the x-axis in this example. You could also apply it on the y-axis if you wanted to. Uh, but for the purpose of this demonstration, our player is just moving back and forth on the horizontal axis. So I'm only applying it there. So I calculate our target position. I assign it to the transform for the layer. And that is it. We go back into Unity, hit play. And there you go, parallax. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's totally free and it really helps me to grow my channel. And I want to get this content in front of as many people as I possibly can. And also, if you'd like to be notified the next time I go live or the next time I post a video, click that little notification bell so you can be alerted the next time I post a video. Thanks again so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.